Hi, Jonathan York from IRG BOP. Um, looking at the interest rate decision from the uh, Reserve Bank of New Zealand last week and the uh, Reserve Bank of Australia's announcement yesterday. In New Zealand, uh, rates were left unchanged yet again, um, and there was just a minor tweaking to the wording that was taking place now with the uh, uh, accompanying the um, announcement. And what they've done, they've changed the wording now from starting to remove the uh, policy stimulus around the middle of 2010 to beginning to remove it over the coming months. And what that does, it just gives the uh, Reserve Bank a little bit of uh, flexibility. Um, at the moment, the jury is still out to decide when uh, the next uh, um, change in interest rates will be here in New Zealand. Um, some analysts are predicting there will be an increase in June. Um, others are still predicting it won't be until uh, September. Um, certainly anecdotal evidence of the uh, state of the economy um, appears to point to a, a slightly later um, rising of interest rates. But possibly more interesting as well was the uh, um, announcement uh, that uh, accompanied the uh, um, statement that given the mo current monetary conditions and the current economic conditions, um, the interest rate cycle this, uh, this time around may actually peak a lot lower than in previous cycles. Um, if you look at it, policy neutral rates for New Zealand are probably sort of six and a half to seven percent. Um, if you're looking at a lower um, interest rate cycle now um, peak, um, that may just be reduced to around sort of five and a half six. Um, so what this could well do is uh, increase the premium on some of these uh, uh, higher rate um, interest. So what this could do is just uh, maybe increase the, uh, the premium uh, that uh, some of these uh, higher rate uh, securities are traded at on these five year resets um, where people are looking for um, interest rates now to be uh, sort of peaking around sort of 7%. Um, if that comes down to around 55 um, that could have some major implications for the, for the price of these securities. Uh, in Australia we've seen um, the Reserve Bank um, increase rates yet again up to 4.5%. Um, then that, that now puts them 2% above New Zealand's interest rates, um, will add uh, additional pressure to the currency. Um, and that's the, uh, that's the sixth move now out of the Reserve Bank of Australia in the last 10 months. Um, so they are pretty aggressive on uh, trying to cool the economy down, um, but as we've stated before, um, they have a, a, a different uh, growth pattern there in Australia, obviously driven by the, uh, the mining and resources sector. Um, as yet, still unclear on how the uh, potential super tax will play out in the, on those sectors. Um, the knee-jerk reaction has obviously been down, um, but if you look at the companies, um, they are major players and will generate some, some pretty substantial profits even with the super tax. Um, so there is still potential out there for, for, for further upside. Um, globally, um, we still obviously have uh, the, the Euro debt, sovereign debt um, issue um, playing out. Um, Greece appears to have been sorted um, with, the, uh, um, with the Greek government calling on the, the IMF and the Eurozone package. Um, however, there's now some debate as to whether that package will now be enough. Um, and there's now potential um, contagion spreading to, uh, to Spain, um, Italy, Portugal, Ireland. Um, so just watch this space to see how, see how that all plays out. Um, fundamentally, on the economic uh, data that's coming out of the, uh, um, certainly out of the US and out of Europe, um, most of the uh, um, activities in the in the market, anecdotally, on the um, the evidence that's coming out for the economic data out of the out of the U.S. and uh, and Europe, um, appears to all point to sustained economic recovery, and that should all be good for shares. Um, you will see some minor speed bumps uh, with uh, along the way, um, but at present, let's say you're looking really for um, dips there to be bought on 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 global equities. Um, you can go to the website um, www.irgbop.co.nz or call us on 0800 867 323. Risk statement available on request. Um, we look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you. Um, again, um, give us